I need to get a 25th hour in the day. Talk without talking, your silence gets loud. When I come from you, we're just having fun. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is another study day and uh, today is Sunday. This is a day that I'm supposed to be relaxing, doing nothing or just working on some languages and stuff. No! I just finished my first week of university as a third year. I can't believe I'm a third year. This is amazing. This is like inexplicable. I can't believe that I'm halfway done with university but yeah this year i'm much more motivated than the previous two years i know i say that every year but this year seems like the one it seems like the the change i'm going to start off by doing some chinese on friday i learned some new vocabulary and now i need to transfer it to my notebook i also have to transfer some notes like ottoman language i need to do some turkish and prepare for tomorrow although i have prepared like relatively well the past two days so it's currently 4 30 pm i have done nothing so let's get to work because i'm already running late so let's go because i know i want to lose when everybody's rooting for the winner stuck in your traffic light with my stupid mouth that's the yellow sign means we're done off i know that i cannot control you that decision i could change Okay, so for now I'm done with Chinese. Because the vocabulary is still fresh in my mind, I can remember it. But usually once I find all the unknown words that I have, for instance, Pingwan, which is a uh, hotel, is a new word to me. Or for instance, Huchajan, which is uh, the train station, that's a new word. So usually what I do is I go to a different section of my notebook. And here I copy all the new words. So writing them down uh actually makes me more likely to remember those words later that's a lot i have to do in chinese but not now i have to do some university work first but then i probably have to do german so i think chinese is bye bye for today i need to get a 25th hour in the day i'm much more in the mood of ottoman right now than any other subject so i'm gonna get started with this one and yesterday with my friends we did some words we started writing uh which it's cool, but it's really confusing sometimes. This is a photocopy of the alphabet that our professor gave us. So I have these notes here. This is this is how my notes first look like. They're really bad, and you don't want that. Because I'm not willing to study from this, I need to fix my notes now. Okay, so for now I'm done with Ottoman. I am not done for the day because I also want to revise the alphabet. I've always admired the Arabic alphabet and Ottoman is a great opportunity for me to actually begin to understand how Arabic works in general. Enough chit chat, let's get to issues of international security. I'm a very emotional person, so if I ever had to do with geopolitics, I think I would sell half the country without even understanding. <laughs> That's definitely not for me. I've passed the previous two uh, semesters for geopolitics, which I'm really happy about. It's 6.45, I just finished my uh, international security uh, notes, but now I want to do a bit of a research for my essay for Cyprus's guarantor powers, uh, the Treaty of the Guarantee, and 
I found a video where my professor talks specifically about that matter. So um, I'm just going to take advantage of that video and see what he has to say about the matter and include his opinion in my essay. My professor is literally dissing the guy who's interviewing him. Like, I can't. He's so ironic about everything. And oh my god, he's my favorite teacher. <laughs> I'm being joined by some kitchen forces. I made myself a smoothie because I can't anymore. I'm starting to get hungry again. It's almost 8 p.m. It's fully dark outside. And I'm still here. So my language lover self. <laughs> I'm going to move on with Turkish and prepare for tomorrow's class. I already did some preparing yesterday. I really like my notes on this one. So I'm looking up what we're going to do tomorrow and I'm not very, very happy. We're starting with speaking, so Turkish speaking specifically. Then there's this kind of long um, text on personality. Actually, the vocabulary is pretty good, you know, it's not the easy kind of vocabulary that you learn from the beginning, but there is actually some really advanced vocabulary and grammatical structures, which is really cool. This is what I signed up for. Tomorrow I also have Turkish literature, I think, something like that. Which I hope is going to be much more interesting than last year, because last year was so boring. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm just going to end today's study session with some German and Go to bed. I'll always keep chasing what's outside the line. I don't wanna rush, but when you say it like that, then why you do me like that? Like you mean it. Too afraid to like you, cause I know I want to lose when everybody's rooting for the winner. Stuck in your traffic light with my stupid mom to stay alive. It's currently almost 10 o'clock. I did some German. I learned some uh, adverbs, which I'm definitely gonna need. And this is how productive I have been today. I'm really satisfied with everything I did. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this study vlog. If you did, a like, a subscribe, and I'll see you on my next video. Peace out.